vitamin D or calciferol, it is a fat-soluble vitamin. The only active form of vitamin D is calcitriol or we call it 1.25 dehydroxycholicalciferol. We have vitamin D2 or ergocalciferol is present in food of plant origin such as cereals, mushroom, yeasts, and we have vitamin D3 or colicalciferol is produced by the skin under the action of ultraviolet rays but it's also found in food of animal origin, such as fatty fish and fortified milk foods. When it comes to vitamin D rules, vitamin D helps in the intestinal absorption of calcium and phosphorus. It is also necessary for the fixation of calcium on the bones. It is actually involved in the regulation of calcium metabolism, helping bones to stay strong and rigid. It modulates immunity, it regulates blood pressure, and it has an anti-cancer and an anti-inflammatory power. A severe deficiency can cause osteoporosis and osteomalacia which results in bone pain often violent in the pelvis, lower back and legs. As well as it can be a contributing risk factor for cancer, hypertension and a number of autoimmune diseases. In children, we assist to rickets. When it comes to vitamin D sources, the best source of vitamin D is found in our skin, which is able to produce it under the influence of sunlight. The best way to do is exposing yourself on sunny days 10 to 20 minutes a day in the sun around midday, having bare chest and protected face, enough to obtain a slight pink coloration of the skin, not a sunburn, okay? When it comes to food sources, we find it in fatty fish and vitamin D fortified products, such as cereals, dairy products, as well as beef, pork and eggs, contain small amounts of vitamin D.